Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and today I am doing another collaboration and it is a Valentine's collaboration and it is called Sweets or Tweet Treats for My Sweets and it is hosted by my friend Desiree from Mama Friendly. There will be a playlist down in the description so you can watch all the wonderful ladies Valentine ideas treats for your sweet <laughs> and I'll also put Desiree's link to her channel down in the description too so what I am doing I am just gonna make a meal for David if you're new here David is my husband I am going to make a steak dinner I have a filet mignon I'm going to cook up and I was going to make it fancy with a like a fancy cheese but they were out of the fancy cheese at the grocery store. I can't even name the fancy cheese I was supposed to put on top. And then I got home, I was like, well, I guess I could have put like, made like blue cheese, but I was like, I'm not going to the store to buy, buy blue cheese, put it on top. <laughs> so, but that's fine. Cause I'm also gonna make um, mashed potatoes with garlic and lemon, and also sauteed spinach with garlic and lemon so there's gonna be a lot of garlic and lemon I don't think I realized that when I picked out the sides but hey we like garlic and lemon so that's okay but I'm gonna start off with a dessert and it is little fudge brownie bites but I don't think they're gonna be little because they're supposed to have little muffin tins and I don't have little muffin tins so they're probably just gonna be regular size <laughs> But I'm excited to share this with you. All right, let's get started. All right, it says to put vegetable oil on them and then dust with flour. But I have these cute little cupcakes. I think they're from last year's collab. But I'm going to put these in here and then, so I don't feel like I need to put flour on them. I'm just going to put on the vegetable oil. It says it will make about 24 miniature cupcakes, but since I don't have miniature ones, I'm assuming that 12 will be plenty, so they're going to be regular size. Alright, I'm going to make it easy for you guys. We're going to be using, I got a little bent there, but the Gerardelli, Gerardelli um, brownie mix, but we're going to doctor it up some. I like this because it already has chocolate chips in it, but if yours, if you decide not to use the Gerardelli ones, you can add in your own chocolate chips. Third a cup of water. Melted butter. One egg. Got a dopamine rush, got a majorly crush when one teaspoon of vanilla. Got my heart upon my sleeve. Can I hide the way It says to combine for fifty strokes or until the batter is smooth. And I thought it's like a fool. Now I'm going to put it in the cups. <laughs> says that I'm going to, you should bake this 12 to 14 minutes. I'm going to put it in for 12, but since they are the large ones and not the small ones, they'll probably end up being the 14. So here we go. Okay, my cupcakes came out. Uh, I had to wait a little bit um, between now and when they came out. And I guess they weren't completely done cooking because you can see how the, this one collapsed. But some of these are, look good. I didn't want to overbake them, 
So just a couple of them, like this one, this one, maybe that one look kind of collapsed. But these look good. <laughs> so, okay. But now I'm gonna go on and start cooking my um, mashed potatoes with garlic and lemon. And I'm gonna start, I have nine potatoes. I'm going to peel them and then cut them up into one inch pieces. I know I'm using a julienne that julienne things, but my <laughs> my peeler, I'm not sure where it is. I washed it just a while back, or this came out of the dishwasher, and I thought I'd put it back in the drawer, it's not there. And this does the exact same job. It just cuts it into a billion little pieces. <laughs> Browns this way. to go okay so you're supposed to cover um, the, the potatoes in water and my potatoes were getting a little too much for this pot so I ended up putting it in another one over here so I have two going <laughs> and um, once it starts boiling I'm going to reduce the heat and I'm going to cover and, and simmer until tender and it's going to be about 15 minutes and then I'm going to drain them. Alright while the mash or the potatoes are boiling or simmering I'm going to be working on the sautéed spinach with garlic and lemon. Get, get the olive oil. I'm going to add garlic and cook until golden brown. All right, you're gonna get your spinach, and you're gonna have you're gonna want them to be wet with water clean to the leaves, and you're gonna add you're gonna have to add it two to three batches, and to cook it for about two minutes until all the spinach will fit in the pot. What I like about working with spinach is just how fast it rolls down. Now I'm going to cover and cook for two to three minutes longer or just until the spinach wilts and I'll stir it once. Alright, I'm going to move it over here off of the heat. Try to burn myself. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice. Or just, you know, squirt it in there. And then some salt. Stir that in. All right, I'm gonna cover that and keep that warm while I finish the rest of the dinner. Now I'm going to drain the potatoes. 
Alright, now I'm gonna put some butter in here. And then I'm just gonna get some salt and then mash up. I put all the potatoes in here. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get some salt. Now I'm just gonna mash up these potatoes. I warmed up some milk and so I'm gonna gradually put it in the mashed potatoes and it's gonna keep mashing until it is smooth and well blended. And try not to lose it in pieces. So I actually forgot to add in the garlic and lemon. You're supposed to do that some milk. My phone's about to die. So actually I'm gonna do that really quick, change up my battery, and then add it to the mashed potato. All right, <laughs> it's going to be this regular mashed potato because I wasn't reading the instructions correctly and I went ahead and skipped part of it. It was supposed to cook the garlic in with the milk and butter and salt in a saucepan and I didn't do that. So if I added it now, the garlic would just be raw and I don't think that'd be very good. So we're just going to have regular mashed potatoes, which I think is still be good. Alright, I just have some fillets over here on this plate and I'm just going to put salt and pepper on both sides and I have some oil over there heating up in that pan. And for medium rare, we want to cook it about ten minutes, and you want to flip it halfway through. Dave and I like medium, so I'm going to do twelve minutes and flip it about halfway, so it'll be six minutes. While those cook, I was sitting there thinking, wouldn't this one with a hole in it, wouldn't it be perfect to put like ice cream in? It's like a little brownie cup. All right, here's dinner. Okay, so how did you like the meal that I made for you, my sweets? It was good. <laughs> it's because it, it's called, um, the collab's called Treats for My Sweets. So that's why I said that. Um, it was good. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't expecting um, steak, but it, it was really good. The filet and, because uh, I don't get filet often, so it was nice. And the mashed potatoes, I'm always up for mashed potatoes. I love fresh potatoes. So. What do you think of your um, spinach? It, it wasn't bad. <laughs> I would have preferred probably like asparagus with, you know, cheese. I don't know. That's what the picture had but, on the uh, on the the cookbook. It had that on there. No, so. that's fine. It just bad memories. So. Everybody seems to have bad memories. I don't. I like spinach. Not like that because I had that version in a can as a kid. So I just didn't because it's so mm -hmm. salty and. It, this one wasn't, of course. It just, like I said, it wasn't bad. I'm just, that's not how I eat my spinach. I prefer my spinach. You like but your it's fresh. Not yeah, I would eat it in a salad, a small side salad or something. But you liked your brownie. Mm hmm That was very good, too. Fresh cooked. <laughs> cooked. Well, that's good. Well, I, I like, you know, because you made it, so. Oh. Then like buying it, buying it at a store and getting it, you know, it's, it's never the same. Even when they fresh bake it, it's still never the same than making them at home, like fresh wise. So it's yeah, it's been a while since so I've had some brownies. All right, well, I'm glad you liked it. Okay. Um, Did you like the steak? <laughs> Holly yeah. got some Did steak. You like the steak. Holly and Woody both got buy the steak. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say hi. <laughs> Hi. We haven't done a 
the video the uh, well she she got it well she has a video she just didn't get a she had, her party video yeah, she, say oh <laughs> it's not say, pretty I put up with daddy I'm just a sweet baby yeah she's like I'm just adorable get whatever I want all right if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of our videos. And remember that this is a collab, so go down into my playlist, or go down to my description and um, watch the other women in the playlist. Mm -hmm. And again, thank you Desiree for doing this collab, and her channel will be linked down below also. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.